Hey, thanks for joining today. A uh, little update. I have finished most of the trim that I started in the trailer. The uh, trim that I have left is now around this countertop and around the face of the microwave and refrigerator. So I'll give you a shot of what I've got done, piece I replaced in the back, and our next step. So stay tuned. So for starters, I replaced the uh, thin piece of wood that I had here in the back with a nice uh, inch and three quarter inch and half something like that piece of oak and I also put a little couple of accents pieces here on the corners uh, just to well make it look nice and I think it looks nice also the little pieces that uh, would keep me up late at night because I didn't have those fitted are now installed and looking pretty good so we've got those done I also installed the one here on the front so now we have a full piece going across and all right makes me sleep better then we also did our little corner pieces down here on the sides of our uh, benches I did those on the front and the back and uh, basically it's just a corner piece of oak that I cut to height of my rest here for the table and then I beveled the corners at a 45 just so when you're coming by nothing snags on that so that looks pretty good yep nice and flush all right so what's our next step so for our next step I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna open up the front and we're gonna get ready to uh, mount some wood on the side of our on the inside of our seating area to mount our inverter and our converter. I have the cables and uh, I still need to get some cable ends or lugs and I've got a hydraulic uh, cable crimper coming that I'm going to make my own cables and I'm going to be using a two aught wire running from the batteries up to my terminals and from my terminals to the inverter and converter I'll be using one aught wire and I've also got a couple of uh, 250 amp uh, fuse blocks that I'll be installing. Uh, catastrophic blocks just in case something gets warm and wants to uh, heat up. So we'll get those installed here pretty soon. But for now we'll go ahead and get um, the converter and the inverter installed in place. We can worry about running those uh, cables later. Then I think once that is finished then what we'll do is for the electrical, we're going to go from our outlet uh, running up under under our benches. So I'll give you a shot of what I'm talking about and uh, how we'll proceed, and then I'll show you how I'm doing it as we go along, and then some up and coming things. So with that, I need to clear off everything in the front, get that moved to the back, open up this front so I can have access to everything, and then uh, take some measurements cut some wood, get things mounted, and, uh, and then we can move forward. So under this front bench seat here on the left side, we're going to uh, install our inverter. And probably, probably be in place somewhere in here, about like this. I still want to be able, when I open up the cabinet, be able to see some numbers or see what's going on in here. So I'll be mounting it as far forward as I can which will most likely be about right here and uh, yeah I think that'll look pretty good when our cables will run I'll have a fuse block sitting here short cables and then we'll run that to our fuse block in the forward section so I need to get a piece of wood cut for here and mount that and then I'll be able to mount our inverter in place and that side will be done then we can do the same thing to the other side for the converter, get that installed, and, uh, and then we can think about running some electrical for electrical panel uh, on this side so we can plug everything in. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to make a piece, probably flush with the end here, and uh, probably half inch, quarter inch above here on the top. So we need a piece that will be approximately 
I said 14 and 3 quarter by um, we could do we do 15. Yeah, I think that'll do. So we'll get our piece cut, get that secured in place, then we can mount our inverter. So we have our piece cut, and uh, it's just going to sit up here against the wall like this, touch the floor, be flush with the face of the uh, piece of wood right here, and make sure all my wires are clear. And now we can fasten that in place, go ahead and secure our inverter, and be done with this side as far as getting it mounted. Then we just got to run cables. Mm -hmm. So we have our wood cut and screwed into place. I also marked for the inverter and I've got a couple of screws started down here and I've got the holes drilled for the top. So now all we have to do is slide this in place and install our screws, tighten those down and then our inverter is secure. So with that let's go ahead and set that in place. It's going to go just like so. And then we can uh, install our top screws and that will be installed in place. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, so there's a shot of it installed. Uh, cut the wood to our measurements. Went ahead and fastened our piece of wood in place. Pre-drilled our holes for where our inverter is going to be. Put two screws at the bottom, set it in place push the inverter up, install these two screws, then reach under and tighten these two screws. So with that in place, it's pretty tight, not going anywhere. And if I ever have to come in and look at some, any numbers, which hopefully I don't need to, we, uh, we'll be able to see everything just fine. My positive and negative will run to the back wall and into our electrical panel up front and get all that installed. So now I've got the converter to do and I'll, I'm just going to do it the same way. I'm going to measure for my piece of wood, get my wood in place, pre-drill my uh, holes to mount my converter, put that up there, screw it down, fasten it, call it good until we get uh, some uh, more parts for our cables. Get that installed. All right, good deal. It's in place. Xantrex. I think after looking at it on this side, instead of mounting the, end, or the converter over here, um, I can actually shorten up cables by installing this because it's a small enough unit. I can install this on this front wall right here. And then I still have a storage space here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mark my holes, give me a couple of pilot holes drilled throw in some screws and mount this right here. I think that's gonna be better and uh, work just fine. Awesome. That's what I'm gonna do. And there we have it folks. So our converter is mounted in place. Our wiring will be going under here like so. We'll run that around through our electrical box and into an outlet that we'll be installing on the other side. And then our positive negative cables will come out of here and uh, sweet. We'll have that up and running before too long. Hopefully all my parts arrive next week and I can get some things um, set up and ready to install by next weekend. And then we could have this running. This could be charging our batteries real soon which is good. Put our batteries in place. Um, yep, nice. So it's coming along. Well, there's a little look-see of uh, everything installed. We have our DC converter that's over here. And then we also have our inverter over here. So with this, we just need to cover uh, run a couple of cables from the converter to our uh, 
distribution terminals which will divide and go out to the batteries. Then we can run our power cable through here and I'm going to have a couple of outlets installed one atop of another. One is the AC, the other one will be for the inverter AC which will plug directly into that. Then from microwave refrigerator behind here will be uh, an outlet with a cable that runs down and plugs into the AC in the bottom which will be wired to my AC over here and then whenever I'm not plugged into shore power I can unplug it plug it into the top which will be plugged into the inverter and I should have power solar power what's our solar doing it's been a while since this thing's installed and uh, Sorry about reflections here. All right, so 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 far the battery's been staying topped off really well, pulling in 21.6 volts, and uh, believe it or not, I am in the shade. So every night I come out, I run this. This usually will drop after a few hours, about 12.8, and uh, I turn it off for the night. Come out the next day, and bam, I am. Uh, topped off. So solar panels are charging the batteries uh, pretty nicely. So everything seems to be working well. I'm hoping that with uh, heavier wire or bigger wire uh, I won't have so much resistance and I can get just a tweak little more power. Now that's the plan anyway. What's next? So I have a counter full of mess here. I still have lights to install. I still have an exhaust fan that I'll be putting down here to vent this compartment. I still have an outlet that I need to put in behind the uh, microwave and then run the cable from the refrigerator microwave into that outlet which will then drop down into our compartment and uh, be powered from there. I also need to run a uh, wire from this box into a switch on and off which will then uh, run a wire into this compartment to the outlet here and that way I can uh, turn off and on the uh, converter or yeah converter whenever I'm not uh, whenever I don't need it yeah uh, I like switches can't you tell okay so I have some cleanup that I think I'd like to do before I uh, decide to start run any electrical wire. I want to get things put away, put in place, everything back the way it was, and uh, we'll call that a wrap uh, for this task. And then we'll get prepared to run some wiring to our switches from our switch wiring over to an outlet here. So I think that's going to be the next accomplishment. And uh, until all my cables come, um, we're finished with the inverter and the converter. And since we're out here and at it, I went ahead and cut a new piece for our false wall in the front. And uh, because we had the holes cut in, mounting our controller holes, running for our cables coming out, and we had a fuse hanging out there. So, new panel. Now we'll take that in, get that painted, and then we'll be able to install that. Oh, well, sometime and uh, that part will be finished. So once again everything is put back in its place. Everything is cleaned up. All the tools, parts, everything are put away. Now we're gonna get ready for our next task. Cool, so we have all of our trim on the back, on the back wall and we've installed all of our trim around our uh, bench seats, install the trim around our wardrobe and on the front and what's left is actually to install trim around the door and to install trim around this cabinet. So we got quite a few things uh, done, all the trim work, most of it, and we've got the inverter and the converter uh, installed in place. So. Next, next task is going to be running all of our wiring for our electrical outlets and, and getting that in place until our parts arrive so we can make our cable. 
um, it isn't how much you get done. It's that you that you do something to get something done. So even if it's just a, a little bit each day, by the end of the week you've got quite a bit done. So uh, that's been my approach. I do just a little bit here and there, and by the end of the week, you know, I'm I'm pretty well caught up. So just a little tip. It's not how much you get done. It's that you get something done. So we'll call that a wrap on this video. Next we'll get into the wiring and uh, I'll show you how I install that. So everything is looking really good and I can't wait to start using this thing. So uh, with that I say thank you for watching. Stay tuned and uh, see you next time.